To find the area of a circle, we use the formula pi times the radius squared. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. So if we look at this example, we've got the diameter here. It's the whole way across. So we don't want that for this formula. We need the radius. So the radius is half of the diameter, so it must be 5 centimetres. So in this case, we've got pi times 5 squared. And that is what we can type in the calculator. So if we type pi times 5 squared, it'll actually come up with 25 pi. But if you press this S to D button down here, it will change it to a decimal. So if that's what we want, and let's do it to one decimal place, we'll get 78.5. In this case, because it's area, and area is measured in squares, it's centimetres squared. OK, so we've got two more examples here. So we need to use the formula for the area of a circle, which is pi times the radius squared. So the area of a circle is pi times the radius squared. In this example, we've got the diameter again. So we need to find the radius, which is half a diameter. So it must be 2.5 centimeters. So we're going to do pi times 2.5 squared. Pi times 2.5 squared comes out as to one decimal place again. We've got 19.6 centimetres squared again. Here we've got the radius already, it's 4. So we're going to do pi times 4 squared. And then we, when we type that in the calculator, we get 50.3 to, to one decimal place. 50.3 centimetres squared. And again, both these answers to one decimal place. OK, here's another two questions. Give them a go. Pause the video and I'll put the answers up after. OK, so the first one here, we've got a radius of two centimetres. So we're going to do pi times two squared to find the area. So pi times two squared, we can type that in the calculator. Press the S to D button and it's going to give us 12.6 centimetres squared to one decimal place. And here we've got a six centimetre radius, so it's pi times six squared. Then we type that in the calculator and we get 113.1 centimetres squared again to one decimal place.